welcome back welcome back welcome back all right we are getting ready to make some chicken pesto okay this is my cheat chicken i tell you i cheat with this chicken all the time you can always get your grilled chicken tenders and make them yourself or you can cheat nothing wrong with cheating sometimes i love to cheat when i can especially when i'm making as many meals as i do in a weekend so you can always get you some chicken tenders and you can always grill them or you can all grab this bag so let's get started we're gonna need this our chicken fajita garlic salt lorries this is a dash onion basil cream of chicken this pesto I got this from Costco's milk and butter and we're also going to use what I always use you don't see it but I'll whip it out in just a second. Garlic. All right, I'm gonna get the chicken in the pan. We're gonna put about, I don't know, let's say two tablespoons of butter in the pan. And we're gonna cook this up in that and get it started. I'll be right back. All right, the butter is still melting, but I went ahead and put the chicken in there. We're gonna go ahead and season it up, garlic salt. We're going to put a little bit of lorries in here. And this is going to be another one of those times that this is the only time we're going to season it, okay? We're going to put some Mrs. Dash in here. And as I'm frying this up in this butter, or sauteing, I am going to break some of these pieces up, as you can see how big that is. I don't need them that big. So I will definitely be breaking them up. There's the onion powder. And we're gonna put in the basil. We're also gonna add cherry tomatoes to this when we get closer to the end, okay? All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and um, start working on this. And like I said, I'm gonna break it up into pieces, just like that, just breaking it up into pieces as it's cooking, okay? So, as I get this sautéed, and when I'm ready for the next step, I'll come back to you. Hold on. Now, there's one more ingredient that we didn't put in here, and I am going to put that in real quick. And what is that? Garlica. There we go. That's all we need. All right. I'll be back. All right. We are back. Okay. Okay. Now you can see the chicken, how I broke it down into smaller pieces. Just break it up like that. It just makes your chicken go a little further. Especially when you're feeding somebody other than yourself. Plus not only that, when you eat stuff, most of the time you want it in bite sizes anyway. So, there's that. So, now we're getting ready to add some ingredients. We're going to start with the cream of chicken. Alright, we're going to get all of that out of there. Okay. Get off the side. Get all that stuff going. You don't have to mix it up now. I just am. And we want this fire to stay up as high as it is, which is a medium high heat, because we're going to need to bring this. Oh, that looks good just like that. Look at that. You can eat that just like that. Put this on a pizza. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So now what we're going to add is the pesto. Okay. And we're going to add a generous amount of this pesto. And remember what I said, you can always add two, but once you take it out, oh, no, that's right, you can't. So, yeah, you can always add two, 
but you can never take it out. So you can add a little bit now, stop. That's more than enough for what I need. And then we're gonna mix one more ingredient in this, and then we're gonna bring it to a complete boil. And the reason why we're gonna bring it to a complete boil is because it has that milk in it. And this is gonna be a creamy pesto sauce, okay? You can absolutely eat it right now. I mean, you could definitely put this over some noodles, some rice, put it over um, anything, I guess, anything you want to, a piece of bread if you had to. But we're gonna make it a little bit more creamier. So we're gonna add, probably, I would say I just added about a cup of milk, or maybe a little shy of. So I'm just gonna put that and mix this in together. See how good that looks? And then we're gonna bring this to a boil. I'm gonna put my lid on. And then once I bring this to a boil, we have two more ingredients that we're gonna add into this, and it'll be done. So, I'll be back once this, I think I'm gonna add a little bit more milk. I want just a little bit more milk in there. All right. And then we're gonna bring, like I said, we're gonna bring this to a boil. And then once we bring this to a boil, as you can see, it's still kind of thick anyway. It's kind of dripping right there, but you can, if you're stirring it, you can feel the clumps that I put in there from the pesto. So we're gonna bring this to a boil, and then I'll be back, because we have a couple more ingredients. Two more, actually, is what we're gonna put in here. Two more ingredients, okay? All right, I'll be back. All right, this has been boiling for about 15 minutes. We're gonna give it a good stir. And then I'm gonna show you the last ingredients. We're gonna put in some bow tie noodles. These are the mini ones. As you can see, these are the mini ones. We're gonna stir those babies in there. I'm gonna turn that fire off. Then once I stir these in, we're gonna have one more ingredient that we're gonna add in here. And then we're done. Dinner is on the table, okay? on the table and you can always make your own pesto sauce pesto sauce is real easy to make it's just that, like i said whenever you can cut a corner why not um all it is is basil fresh basil and olive oil and you put it in your um blender and then just add olive oil as it's breaking up and you've got your own pesto sauce okay so we got plenty of noodles in there, plenty of meat. One final ingredient. Tomatoes. All right. And it's done. I'm gonna put some on a plate, show you what it looks like. I'll be back. All right, look what we created. That is the grilled chicken with the little mini bow tie noodles, the pesto sauce, and tomatoes. Look what we did. Quick, simple, and delicious. All right? Okay. You should make it tonight or tomorrow night or make it for breakfast. It is so good. Look at that. Yum, yum, come get you some. All right, everybody, stay blessed. Be safe. See you next time. Bye.